right. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is laughable. This is called. It's time to laugh. This is called. Ha ha ha, devil. You know, it took me five minutes just to get back online. I have no idea what's going on. My internet connection is the best you can get. Other than the enemy does not want me praying for those who are condemned and for the intercessors. Yeah, that's crazy. This is the third time now. You know what that means? You know what you do? Let me just teach you for a minute. You know what you do when something like that happens? You don't give up. I don't care if I have to keep going on till I'm done praying. I'm gonna keep praying. You don't stop. You don't back down because whatever the devil can use to get you off course one time, he'll use it every single time. If it's a headache, devil, that's all it takes. The devil will use a headache. If it's uh, something with your kids acting out, want to act like a fool before church and that keeps you from going to church, the devil will use that. So when you find that you're annoyed. The devil. The only thing to do is to keep right on annoying him, because the Bible says that if you submit yourself to God and resist the devil, then he's got to flee. And sometimes resisting means getting up in his face and saying, "I'm not backing down." I said, "No, Moss Devil, I'm not going to stop. I'll sit here and come on this Periscope and on this Facebook Live until Jesus comes back, to, if I have to. But I'm going to finish praying what the Lord put on me to pray. So I thank you, God." I thank you, God. I thank you, God, for the intercessors, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you mantle them with boldness, God, just like the disciples when they were persecuted and put in jail for healing the man in the name of Jesus at the gate, beautiful, who was crippled for forty years. He'd been in that condition. What a trial! Oh, he, they were put in jail and they were beaten and they were threatened and they went back to their own company and they said, "Behold, their threats, my God. Would you give us a boldness, Jesus?" And And so I thank you, Lord, that you're mantling your intercessors with boldness in the name of the Lord. I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, that you are with us, that you will never leave us or forsake us, and that you've given us authority. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you help us today, God, to overcome that which is trying to overcome us. I thank you, Lord, that you deliver us from every tie that binds. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, shukot! Somebody pray in the spirit. With me, somebody pray in the spirit with me. Somebody pray in the spirit with me. Oh, shorda mashta shaka tarabashti shiki tiribishti. Oh, stoko tom rashta shaka tarabashti shiki tiribishti. I thank you, Lord. 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 Jesus. Where do you want to go, God? Where do you want to go, God? What do you want to do, God? What do you want to say, God? I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for a persevering spirit to rest upon all of those who are plowing and drudging and moving through warfare. Even now, I just lift up everyone who's in a battle, and I guess that would be every single one of you. I lift up everyone who's going through any kind of battle—a battle against your health, a battle against your finances. Oh, Jesus! Jesus, a battle against your mind. Whatever kind of battle you're walking through, you know what we're going to do today. We're going to come on, everybody, stick with me. We're going to give the devil a nervous breakdown. There are over a hundred thousand people that watch this broadcast every day. I thank you, Lord, that we will stand together right now in the name of Jesus, locking arms. Every single person. I know you're fighting a battle of some kind. I'm fighting a battle. You're fighting a battle. One can put a thousand to flight. Two can put ten thousand to flight. Three can put a hundred hundred thousand to flight. Dear God, we've got over a hundred thousand people. Let's all agree right now and give the devil a nervous breakdown. He thought he could shut up prayer. You can't shut up prayer. You can't shut my voice. You can't shut up your voice. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we stand together this morning in the name of the Lord. Every, oh, that's what it is. You know what? Okay, I get it. You sneaky spirit of sabotage. I break your powers. You're not sabotaging my prayer calls. I bind you. 
in the name of the Lord. I thank you, Lord. Let me just do this. Let me just take care of some business. Let me just teach you for a minute. Let me just model something to you. Let me just demonstrate something. I was praying yesterday, interceding for a man of God whose business has come under attack from a spirit of sabotage. And I could see it. And this is called retaliation. You're not coming against me. I break and bind retaliation. See, when you go into heavy warfare, I'm pray teaching now. When you go into heavy warfare, when you make intercession for somebody and they're in the middle of a big battle and you pray for them, you've got to always remember and you've got to consistently pray against the retaliation because those spirits that are attacking the one you're praying for will turn tail and attack you. They will come at you and say, oh yeah, you want to you wanna bind me? All right, I'll leave the man of God alone. I'm going to come knock on your door. I thank you, Jesus, in the name of the Lord. I bind that spirit of sabotage. I say, no, 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 no. You're not coming in my house. You're not coming in my ministry. You're not coming against my broadcast. I bind retaliation in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of sabotage in the name of Jesus. I take authority over you in the name of the Lord. You will not prosper against me. You will not prosper against those who are listening to the sound of my voice. Come on, everybody. Let's stand together now. I break every spirit of retaliation over the intercessors who stand in the gap. I break every spirit of of that backlash that's coming against you. I break it. Let's pray now for every single one of us that's going through a battle. We can get on one accord. Oh, if two or if two touch on anything, touch and agree on anything. If only two, we just need two. Jesus, if we just had two that would agree today, oh, it will be done for us. We've got more than two. I said, we've got thousands, honey. We're pressing in. I thank you, Lord. I call this demonic cycle broken in the name of Jesus. I call these vicious circles broken in the name of the Lord. I call these vicious, demonic, uh, satanic patterns. I call them broken in the name of Jesus. Lord, deliver us from the hand of the enemy. Deliver us from the snare of the fowler. Deliver us from whatever it is we're doing that's opening the door. If there is an open door, God, I break the powers of, of this warfare against you. Oh, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank we stand together. Come on, let's push back the darkness. Come on, let's push it back. Come on, let's push back the darkness. Come on, come on, let's push it back. Let's stand together like the army of God with the heavenly host. I said there's angelic assistance this morning. I said the angels, they're with us. Come on, let's push back this darkness. Come on, let's push. Let's pray until something happens. You know what you do? Let me pray, Tisha, for a moment. You know what you do? You pray until you feel the breakthrough. You pray until you feel that ring of victory in your spirit. When you're in battle. You pray until you can feel something shift. It's not your emotions that shift. It's not your flesh that shift. It's something you discern by the spirit. It comes from experience in warfare. I said the experienced spiritual warriors, they know what I'm talking about. Maybe you never heard this before. Maybe this is all new to you. I'm telling you, this is the way you got to do it. You got to press. Come on, let's push back the darkness now in the name of the Lord. Push in the name of the Lord. We push back the darkness in Jesus name. I thank you, Lord. We purge the heavens over our lives with the blood of Jesus. We purge the heavens over our lives with the blood of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that we're seated in heavenly places with Christ. Even now we war from a position of victory. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Your word tells us the Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. We're just your battle axe, God. We ask you to break in with light, break in with power, break in with might, break in God with everything you have and everything you are and put Push back the darkness over our lives, over our ministries, over our finances, over our physical bodies, our health, over, 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 over. We push it back in the name of the Lord. We push it back in Jesus' name. We say no more. I said, we're not tolerating it any longer. We're not going to put up with it anymore. No, 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 no. We're not going to put up with it any longer. I said no more. We're not going to put up with it. It's not something that we are willing to tolerate. That's the thing, guys. Let me pray teach you for a minute. If, as long as you're willing to tolerate it, it's going to keep on happening. It's not until you rise up. It's not until you run to the battle line. It's not until you decide, I'm finished. I'm done. I don't care what it takes. I don't care what I got to let go of. I don't care who I need to get advice from. I don't care how much I have to read my word, how much I got to pray in tongues, how whatever many prayer calls I got to get on. I am going to break through this in Jesus' name. You got to get determined. You got to set your face like flint. Come on now. 
We are victorious. We're not called to put up with this. Yeah, there's warfare. There's warfare. If you're doing anything good for God, you're going to get some warfare. I hear somebody saying, I ain't got no warfare. I don't like this broadcast. I ain't got no warfare. I don't like this broadcast. Honey, you need to go do something for God. And when you do something for God, you're going to get some warfare. And then you're going to go hit replay on this broadcast because you're going to need it. If you do anything for God, if you're doing anything for God, if you're doing anything for God, you're going to get warfare. Praise God. Let me just pray teach you for a minute. If you're not doing anything for God, devil not going to mess with you. But as soon as you step out into your calling, as soon as you step out into your destiny, as soon as you step out into your purpose, bless God, all hell tries to break loose against you to get you to abort that thing. I said the devil wants you to abort what you're called to do. He wants you to abort your blessing. He wants you to forfeit like the baseball team that just can't seem to get it together. I said, no, we're not giving up. We're not backing down. We're not giving up. We're not backing down. God set our, set our spines like steel, set our spines like a timber. I thank you, Lord. We will not back down. We're not giving up. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, that you teach our hands to battle and our fingers to war. Strengthen our arms that we can bend back a, bo uh, bend back a bow of, of bronze. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. 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 I, somebody's got a headache. I don't know who that is. You got a headache. You got a bad headache. I, it's not like a, uh, maybe it is a migraine. It's a bad headache. I command that headache to go now in Jesus' name. I command that headache to go now in Jesus name I thank you Lord I thank you Lord I th somebody got pain in some other part all pain I command that pain to go I said it's time to stop tolerating the pain devils I said you spirit of pain loose the person of God in the name of the Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Lord in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah take that devil and I bind retaliation against each and every one of this broadcast I bind it I bind it I bind it I bind it I I bind it in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over myself. I plead the blood of Jesus over all of you. And I thank you, Lord, that you teach us to stand, to stand, to stand, to stand. Your word tells us when you've done all you know to do, you just got to stand. And the Bible says God is able to make you stand. Whatever it is you've been going through, don't bow to it. Whatever it is you've been going through, don't give in to it. Don't bow to it. Bow your knee to Jesus. Bow your knee to Jesus, not to your circumstances. Bow your knee to Jesus, not to your circumstances. Oh, in the name of the Lord, praise God. We've gone over time because of all these distractions. So I want to do my announcements because I've got something else I want to share with you out of the book of Acts, but I've got to get through this and I've got to be uh, uh, obedient to, uh, I mean, uh, uh, mindful rather of the time of some of you. And I know some of you like to hear that, that last bit as well, because that's where the daily little revelation, the biblical teaching comes from. Now, listen, let me get some water. I have, I have done broke a sweat. You know, serious intercessors will break a sweat. You know that? You ain't prayed till you broke a sweat, praise God. You just pray in nice prayers till you break a sweat. You want to engage in battle, praise God. You won't break a sweat. Hallelujah. It's all good. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I want to, I want to plead with some of you today. Listen to me to enroll in my school of spiritual warfare. Now, obviously I didn't make all this happen so I could tell you about my school of spiritual warfare. You can't make up what just happened, this dumb thing with, the, with that. But you know what? I'm mad. I said, I'm mad with the devil. And I'm tired of seeing the enemy destroy lives, kill, steal, and destroy. He's got a threefold ministry. He ain't got a fivefold, but he's got a threefold. It's called steal, kill, and destroy. John 10.10. 10. If you're in a, in a place in your life where you're dealing with being steal, excuse, the, the enemy stealing, killing, and destroying, you need to get on the other side of John 10, 10. Jesus came to give you life and to give you life more abundant. It's time to take a stand. You've got to learn how to fight. Most churches don't teach this or the ones that do just say, well, just praise Jesus. Some of the ones that do, some churches do teach it. I'm grateful for the ones that do, but some just say, just worship Jesus and everything will be all right. Praise God. Just worship Jesus. That's all you got to do. You, you, don't have to, you don't have to bind the devil. Just worship Jesus. Well, then how come Paul said, you know, we have the whole armor of God? How come Peter said, you know, uh, that the enemy's roaming around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour? How come Paul said not to be ignorant of the devil's devices? Why? Because the devil's on the loose and he's trying to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus even said it himself. I'm tired of people saying we don't have to do warfare. 
So much of people's emotional issues would be settled. So much uh, people that are that are just uh, losing money, bleeding uh, financially, bleeding spiritually, bleeding physically, sick in their bodies. If they just knew how to fight, dear God, we could just stop all this mess. You got to learn how to fight. Please, I'm pleading with you. If you don't know how to fight, if some of the stuff I said inspired you, if some of the stuff I said you've never heard before, you're like, wow, but that resonates with my spirit, go enroll in the School of Spiritual Warfare. That early bird price is going bye-bye in just a few days. My guy is putting together a new site. He did it yesterday, but he hasn't had all the bells and whistles uh, done on it yet, so I can't release that to you. But you can go sign up on Eventbrite. Eve it's jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. 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 And then scroll down. You're going to see a ton of events there. Scroll down to School of Spiritual Warfare. Scroll down to School of Spiritual Warfare. Enroll before the, before the early bird price goes away. Please, I don't want you getting mad at me. Well, you didn't tell me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You need to get in on this school. Even if you already know how to fight, you need to get in on it. There is a season of warfare that we're in, and it's getting more and more intense. I had somebody Facebook me and said, you know, all the people around him in ministry, their lives are falling apart. There's uh, adultery happening. There's financial stress. He said, is this happening to you? I said, no, it's not happening to me. Yes, I have warfare, but no, that's not happening to me. You got to nip this, this junk in the bud. If you let the devil keep on and 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 keep on, yeah, your whole life's going to be destroyed. You got to take a stand. I don't care how much you know about warfare. You need to sign up for my school because I'm going to teach you. I'm going to train you. It's next level, and we're going to do practical exercises. Go and sign up. Go and sign up. Go and sign up before that early bird price expires. You know, it's, it's, they say, well, it costs money. Yeah, it costs money. How much is it? How much has the devil stolen from you? Way more than what the school cost. I guarantee you that. Way more your peace. Way more your money. Way more your time. And you know, you go on vacation and sit on the beach or whatever you do, or you go you go to the movies and you do all these things, and that's not helping you. It's not changing your life. I'm pleading with you today. After what happened this morning, I'm mad. I can see the enemy is trying to just totally uh, stop me from talking to you guys, and I'm not going to stand for it. Learn how to war with me. I need warriors. I'm enlisting a thousand undercover intercessors. I'm going to give you the website where you can enlist probably on Monday. Guys finishing it up today. I'm enlisting a thousand undercover intercessors and I'm going to be in a group with you. It's, it's still, there's no cost to it. I'm just asking you to pray for me. But there's, there's, I'm just going to have a special group in there where I will share with you some things I learn as I go about spiritual warfare, practical stuff like in the middle of the battle. So that's your benefit is you'll be able to glean from me things that will help you in your life as you pray for me. I'm praying for you, but I'm going to, I'm going to give you that in a few minutes. Go sign up for the school of spiritual warfare. Don't, don't, don't get off this broadcast and go, uh, you know, watch TV, go sign up for the school of spiritual warfare. Now, if you want to sow a seed into the ministry, maybe you just have no interest in warfare, whatever, that's fine. Hopefully one day you will. I'm praying for you that you get the revelation. Praise God. But maybe, maybe this is not in your purview right now. That's Okay. I'm asking you to sow a seed to help support the ministry. I'm asking you to sow a seed if these calls are blessing you. Obviously, I need to find some way to overcome. I don't know if I need to get a T1 connection. You know, Fortune 500 companies get T1 internet connections because it's mission critical, but they cost tons of money. I don't know what I need to do to make sure these broadcasts don't go down. You know, I don't know that I, that would actually help. But I'm checking into it. I'm calling at and today because this is this is dumb. And if it's a if it's a physical problem, if there's so, you know the enemy can break your equipment. I don't know how he can do that. But I've had cameras that are brand new that just completely just break. I've had other things that are brand new and they're like, well, I had a brand new computer once. It just and they said they couldn't find out why it happened. It's called the devil. I don't know how it works, but I know it works. So I'm calling at and today and whatever I can pay to fix this, if I can pay to fix it, you know, my grandma taught me one time, if money can solve the problem, then it's not that big of a problem. The Bible says money answers all things. Money answers all things. So uh, if this is blessing you, please so help me. I got to get infrastructure in place. I got to, I got to, uh, my ministry is growing way faster than my prayer covering and way faster than the, uh, the, the, than the financial resources. God's bringing it in, but we need massive uh, breakthroughs in every area to do what God's called us to do. So please uh, consider sowing a seed. You can go to jenniferleclair.org slash donate, jenniferleclair.org slash donate. 
Uh, Jennifer LeClaire. Yeah, that's a good word. I need the intercessor team praying before and during the uh, the broadcast. When I when I launch this new site where you can enlist as an intercessor, it's going to take you straight to an email list and it's going to give you information from that email list. The email will shoot out to you about a Facebook group. Uh, you're going to need to make sure I don't land in your spam, but I'll, I'll talk to you about that more later. Uh, you can do JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate. You can become a partner there or you can sow a one-time seed. Please go there and do it. Don't, don't say, yeah, I'm going to do that. Don't tell me, I'm going to do that. And then and don't do it. I find out what a lot of you are doing is you're donating and then your cards are not going through because the expir- the card expired or because uh, some kind of glitch. And so I see all these donations coming in and then I get a notification. We get notifications saying, oh, that failed and that failed. I'm like, ah, oh, the enemy is trying to block your blessing. So look and see if you've donated, look, in the, look on your credit card, see if it went through. M- most of these, a lot of them, are, they're not going through. They're not going through. So you've got to check. Don't let the enemy steal your blessing. If your heart is to sow, then make sure that you're that you're following the Holy Spirit in your heart and that. You can go to paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can also use text to give 754-701-2161, 754-701-2161. Praise God. Text the word pray, P-R-A-Y. You can also... Go to uh, uh, P.O. Box 3953, Hallandale Beach, Florida, 33008. 3953, P.O. Box 3953, Hallandale Beach, Florida, 33008. You can find that on my website at jenniferleclair.org. The Writer's School, it's Saturday. You know, I had a mishap. I don't know what happened, but but the devil took all my, not all of them, but large chunks of my Writer's School notes from the last session were just wiped out. And I did them. I had them. And then by the time I sent them over, uh, they're just gone. And so I have to redo all those. But my priority was was finishing these these uh, these last four sessions. So I'm wrapping all that up today. And everyone who's in the writer school will get the notes from the last session. And then I will wait uh, to send the notes from the la- from the final session until Monday. Why? Because I don't like y'all reading notes while I teach. Because you're not hearing what I'm saying. People get all wrapped up in notes. I don't like it. I'm doing the School of the Prophets out in California, Sears Institute, in October. And they said, would you send us your notes? I said, no, I won't. Because people sit there and read the notes. And I'm, t- I'm so far off the notes. The notes are just there as a, as a chronicle for you, as something you can refer back to. You need, if you're going to be a, a catch the spirit of what I'm doing, you're going to need to pay attention to what I'm saying. You can look at the notes later. All right? So that's why I wait to send them out. But you go to the writer school, tinyurl.com slash writing launch. Tinyurl.com slash writing launch. There is a payment plan set up for that uh, already. Uh, just because you missed the first two sessions doesn't mean you shouldn't get it. Get it on the last one. You can still watch the first eight broadcasts are in the Facebook group. Uh, you can watch those first eight broadcasts still. Uh, so anytime, this will be perpetual. Anytime you want to sign up, this school is ju- it's there. It's there. Uh, we did invest in a live stream platform, so going forward, it's going to be uh, much easier to obtain access and, and watch on demand. Uh, we've done the best of what we could. We've been good stewards, and God is increasing us. Amen. Uh, we don't believe in going in debt as a ministry. I don't believe in it. I just don't believe in going into debt. And so we, we, we grow as we go. We, we invest as we have the resources to invest. Amen. So go do that, tiny, the tinyurl.com slash writing launch. Oh, uh, I want to announce to you today. Now, there's only one thing. This is a big announcement. There's only one thing missing is the upcoming events. But we have launched ahop.tv. A-H-O-P stands for the Awakening House of Prayer. ahop.tv. What this allows you to do is it allows you to enter into the new platform uh, to, to register for our live stream events. Uh, yeah, there's a cost to register for our live stream events. Uh, somebody wrote me a nasty email and said, you know, you're not supposed to charge for the gospel. Well, I'm not charging you to preach you the gospel. I'm not, I'm not charging you to share with you the fact that Jesus Christ died for your sins, rose again on the third day. I'm not charging you to preach the gospel. I'm, I'm giving you an opportunity to tap into a live stream event that is going to help change your life because you're not getting this in your church or in your city. And so unfortunately, you know, yeah, the gospel is free, but it costs money to buy computers. It costs money to buy live streams. It costs money to buy cameras. It costs money to rent buildings. It costs money to have air conditioning. It costs money to buy chairs. And it costs money to pay staff. So unfortunately, until Jesus just comes and, and gives me a donor that's just willing to, you know, give me uh, $40,000 a month to pay the bills, uh, we have to let, you know, let we have to charge for the live stream. So you can go there, AHOP TV. You can register uh, for a one-time 
time pass to watch the Inner Healing and Mass Deliverance Conference. You can then access it forever till Jesus comes back. Watch it over and over as many times as you want. Uh, ahop.tv. You can also buy an annual pass. And if, you, if you're one that follows all our events, this is the better deal for you because it's an annual pass. But besides just the conference, you're also going to get the, uh, the prophetic chats that I do, uh, the prayer school, the healing school, the Sunday services, and then other special live streamed events that come up sometimes impromptu. So I encourage you to go to ahop.tv. The only thing missing from the site right now is the list of upcoming events. If you really want to see the list of upcoming, the developer will put that in there, I'm sure, the day or tomorrow, the next day. If you really want to see the list of upcoming events, you can find that on the Eventbrite page just for your reference, eventbrite. I'm sorry, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Uh, so go to ahop.tv, and if you want to do that, inter- now if you've already signed up through the other tiny URL delivered now, that's okay. We're going we're gonna to sign everything in through that platform. You're not going to miss anything. It's all going to be transitioned and figured out. This was something that I've been trying to get done for like five months. And the developer I was working with uh, turned out to be a little on the dishonest side and uh, uh, just made a lot of promises and did a lot of things that he, he just wasn't following through on. And so that's unfortunate, but God came through. Sorry, it's last minute. The conference is next Friday next Saturday, and next Sunday. We're going to inner healing and mass deliverance. P.O. Box 3953, uh, P.O. Box 3953, uh, Hallandale, H-A-L-L-A-N-D-A-L-E, Hallandale Beach, Florida, 33008. All right, so AHOP TV, praise God. Uh, uh, you can go there. I, that's all. I'm going to stop with the announcements there. Um, uh, but let me share this with you. It's getting so late. Uh, let me share this with you. You know, there's spiritual warfare is real. Spiritual warfare is real. It's real. Three, nine, five, three, Hallandale Beach. Yeah, that's it. Three spiritual warfare is real, but I want to balance that out. Thank you, Brenda Webb. You're a blessing. Brenda Webb has seen uh, so much breakthrough being in the Ignite Network. She posted a, a, a post in the Ignite Network yesterday that just blessed my heart. Uh, just mass, she's talking about massive favor, massive increase. Uh, those, those who are aligned with me in this network are seeing breakthrough all over the place. Jamila Jordan Moody uh, went um, and put a post on her Facebook. The Lord had an encounter uh, this morning with regard to Ignite. And I can't share it yet because I need to process it. I need to find scriptures. Uh, but I'll probably get Pastor Austin to help me make a, a video, do a Facebook Live, and then create a video. This is, uh, I mean, I was really humbled. Um, uh, I was really uh, just blown away. Like, I, I, how, how can I do that? You know, sometimes when the Lord calls you to do something, uh, if it's really the Lord, uh, and especially as you grow in the Lord and you, you, you've, had, you've conquered some little things and you've done some small exploits and he's calling you to do a great mighty exploit. Many times you just, you just, you're like, who am I, you know, who am I that you would call me to do this? And so that was the encounter I had with the Lord. And I'll share that with you at some point, uh, when I'm released to do it. Uh, but I'm like, who am I? You know, kind of like Gideon, kind of like Gideon or Jeremiah, the prophet, who am I like for real? Like, I don't even know if the people are going to believe me, kind of like Moses, like, you know, I, like how how the, will the people even believe me? And I was reading Naomi Dowdy's book this morning. Then after that, um, about something the Lord told her, and it was almost similar. It was different, but it was similar. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like total confirmation. And she even said in her book, like, how are they even going to believe me? And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like what I just went through. So I WhatsApped Naomi Dowdy this morning in Singapore, and I asked her if we could have a meeting on Tuesday uh, so I could discuss some of these things with her because she's an awesome woman of God. Praise God, and I need I need help. I need counsel. So I was going to say something. So go join Ignite. Go, go read about the first encounter I had. I'm talking about a new encounter. First encounter, ignitenow.org. You can watch, read about the encounter I have with the Lord there. Uh, but I'll be sharing with you more. I'm blown away right right now and I'd probably not do it justice if I tried to share it with you so uh, I know prophet Vanessa is like what no, I'm gonna tell you later prophet okay Acts sixteen sixteen. I didn't see what you said anointed warrior don't make me go back and watch this again okay I don't know what you said but anyway I guess it depends on what kind of what kind of what kind of what kind of mood uh, we're in. Okay. Uh, haha. Okay. Here's the thing. Spiritual warfare is real, but not everything is a devil. Not everything is a devil. 
I said, not everything is a devil. Not everything, <laughs> not everything that, not, sometimes it's not a devil opposing you. And that's where we get into trouble is we begin to think that every time we meet with some resistance or every time there's some kind of obstacle or every time there's something that seems like it's getting in our way, sometimes we automatically assume it's a devil. And I'm telling you, not everything's a devil. I think most of the time it's a devil. Yeah, most of the time, most of the time it is. Or a devil working through a person. Most of the time it is. I think most of the time it is. But sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's not. Let me just read you this scripture. I didn't bring my Bible in here. I left it out into, in my secret place where I meet with the Lord. But let me just pull this up. Uh, it's Acts 16. 16. Let's see, we pressed through all that warfare, didn't we? And it stopped. We pressed through. Once I saw what was happening, once I got a word of knowledge, once I heard from the Lord as to what it was that was causing all that warfare, it stopped. And now we have not come off again and we're not going to. Now here, uh, here uh, in Acts, Acts 16, Acts 16, starting at verse 6, they went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia, listen, and were forbidden. Everybody else can... Uh, no sound again. Yeah. Sabella, you can hear me, right? Let me know if you can hear me. Somebody let me know if you can hear me. All right. I don't like those false alarms, so please don't, don't uh, just give it a minute. Can you hear me or not? Vanessa, can you hear me? I'm in and out. You can hear me. I wasn't talking. Okay. Don't freak me out, guys. All right. Acts 16. Don't freak me out, guys. All right. Don't freak me out like that. Just chill. All right. Uh, I'm trying to get in. I'm trying to tell you something here. And everybody can hear. Everybody's saying they can hear. Don't freak me out like that. All right. I'm, I'm not mad at you. I'm just saying don't freak me out like that. All right. Okay, so they went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia and were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. See, because there's also a delay. It takes you like 30 seconds to hear. I, was, I just wasn't talking. It wasn't that there was no sound. Okay, they went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia and were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak. The, they, were, they were forbidden by who? They were forbidden by who? They were forbidden by the Holy Spirit. When they came near Mysia, they tried to go to Bithynia, but the Spirit did not allow them. But the Spirit did not allow them. So they passed by Mysia and went down to Troas. During the night, a vision appeared to Paul. A man of Macedonia stood and pleaded with him, saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. After he had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go into Macedonia, concluding that the Lord had called us to preach the gospel to them. See, here's the thing. Everything is not a devil. Sometimes the Holy Spirit has a better way. And we get, it, it, we, we sort of sometimes think we know which way to go. We think think we know where we're headed. We think we know what the will of the Lord is. But how many of you know, no one is absolutely 100% infallible when it comes to the things of the spirit. Sometimes we think we know. Sometimes we do know, but the Lord shifts our steps last minute. Sometimes we're heading in the right direction. We're going the way the Lord's told us to go, but all of a sudden he has something else he wants us to do. So he'll shift us. And so we're like, okay, well, you know, it makes sense to us. We're on this path. We're going to go this way. And the Lord says, no, he prevented Paul and his he prevented Paul from going here he prevented Paul from going there it says the Holy Spirit prevented him it doesn't say there were other times where Paul said the, the the devil hindered me the devil thwarted me but this time twice in a row the the Holy Spirit did not allow him the Holy Spirit forbid him but then what happened we find out why the Holy Spirit forbid him. We found out why, because he wanted Paul to go to Macedonia. See, Paul thought he was supposed to go through here, and he thought he was supposed to go through there, but he was supposed to go to Macedonia. So the Holy Spirit did not allow him to get out of the will of God. Isn't that awesome? The Holy Spirit prevented him so that he could, you know, see that here's the thing. The Bible says the Lord orders the steps of the righteous, and he really does. Sometimes in spite of you, sometimes in spite of me, 
The Lord just gets done what he wants to get done through us. And so here's, so everything is not a devil. So when you meet with resistance, guys, what I want you to do is, now this morning it was obviously clear that that was the devil because the Holy Spirit ain't going to shut down my prayer call, okay? Now I'm praying in the Spirit. Holy, Holy Ghost is not going to shut down my prayer call. So that, that was obvious. I didn't have to stop and ask and pray for five days. But sometimes, you know, when there's a resistance, we need to just, you know, if it's not obvious, we need to go ask the Lord, Lord, is this you? Are you redirecting my steps? Is there something better for me? Do you have more for me and you're not letting me settle for this? Is that why this is being blocked? You need to ask the Lord, what is this? Is this you? And find the peace in it. And if it's the Holy Spirit, th thank you, Jesus, because you know there's a better way. He's keeping you on a better path. And if it's the devil, you know what you do? You blast it. Praise God. So, Father, I ask you to give us discernment and understanding as to what you are saying and doing in the earth, in our lives, in this generation, in our families, in our workplaces. God, give us discernment. Help us to recognize, is it you? Is it the devil? Is it you? Is it the devil? Is it you? It was the devil. Because we don't want to resist you, God. And we don't want to get ahead of out. We don't want to get out ahead of you, God. So give us that discernment. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. You guys are faithful. Love you guys. We're going to go back into worship. We're going back into worship. Let's see if the, if the Wi-Fi will hold up. Amen. Praise God.